At the starting of the film, we see a cop named Liu, who generally gets up late in the morning. He used to consume liquor constantly, and that inebriated him. That was the cause why he was late for his job. During the day, he used to snooze while going about his responsibilities. After which, we are shown that he has arrived at the police headquarters. The cop who worked with him was Tina, tells that his companion had recently called and brought a complaint about a case. Presently, Lou goes to his buddy who had a weapon shop. He imparts, I think some dark sorcery is happening around us, due to it, creatures are vanishing. He shows Lou a video in which there was a sign of Blackheart. Also, somebody was talking in it. His companion proposes you should nab this individual who is talking in the video. Be that as it may, he gives a deaf ear to his opinion and departed from there. Afterwards, Lou gets a call from his superior. Also, he asks him everything that his pal has said to him. He says maybe a few kids were having a party in the jungle, so he thinks something is amiss about this. After which, Lou goes to a gin mill and consumes a great deal of liquor. There was a man who was from the government opposing untrustworthiness like terrible jobs. After which, Lou returns to his police headquarters where the boss asks for some information about those youngsters who partied in the woods. Yet Lou knew nothing about it since he didn't go there. Presently, the boss got a grumbling from that point once more, so he advises Lou to go there. Lou goes to examine that spot at night, however, he tracks down nothing there. However, out of nowhere, he hears a shout. At that point, when he comes there, the body of that man who was from the pub was hanging from the tree upside down. Around then, some maxed individuals showed up there. They strike Lou with something and spark him out. In the following scene, Lou awakens from a terrible dream in his home. He was feeling odd. Since he doesn't recollect what occurred to him last night, also, how could he get back home? After which, he does his shaving, yet he notices that his facial hair was developing extremely quick. Then he sees the pentagram carved on his abdomen that was very identical to which his companion showed him in the video. It implies that they performed voodoo on Lou that night. When he prepares to go out of the house, he perceives that he could hear every voice from distant and his olfactory ability enhanced. Surprisingly, a canine was staring at him with bizarre eyes. He didn't grasp why and how was this occurring with him. After he goes to the same area with his boss, where he came the previous evening. He sees the cadaver of the man he saw the previous night. The chief asks him, didn't he find anything abnormal? He says no. Since Lou knew nothing about the previous evening, he sees very mark on that man's neck. Seeing this, he gets extremely frightened. Then we see an elderly person who was telling the journalist that she didn't comprehend whether it is crafted by human or a creature. There Lou begins smelling that man's caracas. Then Tina appeared from behind. Lou smelled her without seeing also comprehended that Tina is behind him. After that Lou goes to the bar. The young lady who used to work in the bar finds him pensive. Lou drinks a tons of liquor while sitting. As soon as the young lady comes to him, his heart begins to tremble. He feels nauseated also, he rapidly goes to the washroom. Here everything begins to be worried with him. A creature was emerging from Lou's body. He is enduring the torment, since his skin was being ripped. Lou had transformed into an extremely lethal wolf. Then three men come there to kill Lou. Before they kill Lou, he kills two of them. He is going to kill the third man, but he managed to escape. The lady witness Lou to be a wolf. In the morning, when he awakens, he sees that somebody had tied him up. His companion comes and tells him that he had transformed into a wolf in the previous night. Lou hears this and starts eating there. Then Tina comes there to take Lou with her. His companion says, after some research, when it's full moon, he will transform into a giant wolf. That's the reason he will watch out for him. Presently, when she meets Tina, she reproves him a lot, however, requests him to take her to the young lady's bar. She lets him know that somebody had killed two men there, as he didn't have the knowledge about the actual event. He comes to the bar with Tina, where the boss was present, who was getting some information about the awful occurrence. Yet, that young lady expresses nothing, notwithstanding knowing it all. Outside the bar, he tells that he doesn't know what's wrong with him also apologized assuming he had harmed her. The woman was thankful for saving her life, saying that she lives. 
Low returns inside where Tina was analyzing that bloody crime spot. Tina taking a gander at the torn face skin says, it looks like Low. Here they additionally get the creature's body hair. Low contemplates deleting all his proof. He tells Tina that he will solve this case himself. After which we are shown the head of those hooligans. The one who saved himself hurries to the chief and informs him concerning Lou's transformation. Considering everything was rubbish, he stabs his man's eye and takes the eyeball out cruelly. Lou goes to a library to peruse a few books so he can look into himself. He gets an occult mythological book in the library and goes to the police headquarters to read with his companion. They figure out that dark sorcery has been performed on him for which he turned into a wolf. When the full moon comes, he will end up being a wolf in the future. When Lou figured out this, he requests his companion to stay with him and lock him in the cell, so that he doesn't hurt anybody after turning into a wolf. And afterwards, his companion starts to record this. Tina comes there for having some discussion. After Tina's departure, he was transforming into a wolf, tearing the skin of his body. Lou experiences severe tormentation. Then a call comes. Lou comes out from the cell and writes a complaint of robbery. Later, he and his friend go to that area. Everybody was terrified of him, furthermore puzzled as well. Tina goes to the bar to express her a few inquiries. Then Tina gets a call being informed that a wolf saved everybody's life and caught the culprits. Tina was extremely shocked to hear this and leaves from that place. Lou had arrived at the head of those thugs. Everybody takes shots at Lou there. But the bullets didn't affect him. He kills everybody severely there and beheaded one man. However, at that point, there was a fire. Drugs were made here. The spot was gonna be exploded. Lowe's companion takes him from there. Tina and the boss arrived at the store. Then Tina gets another call being told about the impact. He was clueless about what's going on in the city. Lowe and his guy go to the police station and the young lady from the bar comes there. She sends his companion from there and spikes his beverage to knock him out. After he passed out, she secures him in the prison. Then we see that the old lady out of nowhere turns into an elderly person. Lowe's companion comes in the morning as he was engaged with this lady. Then that lady slaps Lowe's companion and proposes to obliterate the record tapes and kill him. Otherwise, it will be a major risk. After crushing the tape, she takes Lowe with her. After they disappeared, Tina enters the police headquarters and finds the camera but there was nothing in it. Her eyes fall on the camera there, in which Lou was with the barmaid and became wolf. Tina gets terrified seeing this. Here she chooses to save Lou. The head of the thugs comes to the wood and changes himself into the chief of the department, implies the boss, the young lady from the bar and Lou's companion were associated. These three people bound Lou to a tree with their real appearance who had done black magic on Lou. Here we come to know that they were shapeshifters. They reveal that they have been living there for 200 years and can transform any individual into a wolf with their wizardry. They stay alive by consuming the wolf blood. These three are hanging tight for the lunar eclipse, with the goal that they will drink the blood of Lou also be everlasting. Lou begins turning into a wolf. When the blood oozes from Lou's body, he begins drinking his blood. Tina comes there and shoots him. He kicks the bucket. Exploiting this, Lou flees. We see that Lou's companion's body caught on fire and turns into ashes. Tina asks that lady to lift her hand. That elderly person changes into the young lady from the bar. Also battles with Tina. There Lou was killing those thugs gravely. Even Tina kills that lady. The chief showed up disguised as the leader of the goons. Also a man comes and gets Tina. There is a lot of battling between him and Lou. Tina takes the sword to stab the boss. However, nothing happens to him. He planned to kill Tina and goes towards her. At that point, Lou gets up, takes the gun and shoots him straightforwardly in the head and he dies there. Lou became unconscious after the eclipse. Lou was in his real shape and form. He turns into a typical cop from the wolf. Subsequently, Tina takes Lou inside the vehicle and leaves from that side. And with this, the film draws the conclusion. Thank you.